Hi everyone, Lua here with another quick tutorial from Kamala Tech. Today we're going to talk about formalizing your archiving process in Confluence Cloud. Confluence Cloud has built-in page and space archiving, but how can you make sure that pages are regularly reviewed and archived as part of the overall life cycle of your documents? That's where Kamala Document Management comes in. With Kamala Document Management, you can build expiries into your pages and automatically send notifications to your team, prompting them to review or archive pages. On this page, I have a workflow set up that has an initial review, uh, which I can approve, and that will then send me to a publish state, which has an expiry applied. For this example, I've set the expiry to three seconds, but of course you could set this to a year, six months, or to a specific date. Once the page expires, the workflow will transition to another page state called expired, and it will also automatically send out an email, letting select users know that the page has expired. Now my editor has received the email, which you see tells us that the page has expired and gives us a link to the page. And back on the page, we have the option to either re-approve or to obsolete. If I re-approve the page, it would go back to the publish date, but I'll click obsolete and once the page transitions, you'll see that it goes to a new obsolete state and a notification appears reminding the user to archive the page. Let's take a look at this workflow in the builder, which you can access from space settings, content tools, and document management. Then click on the drop down menu and edit with the workflow builder. Here we can see a diagram of my workflow with the four states. And if we click on the publish state, you can see the expiry and where I can change the uh, expiry period if I want. For the email and the notification, can go back and click on the name of the workflow. Under advanced, you can see that I'm using two triggers for this workflow. I have one trigger for sending a notification email when the page expires, and one for my on-screen message. You can find info for adding triggers on our wiki, and I'll include a link for that in the description below. This is just one example of a workflow that can help you control your archiving process, and you can build your own custom workflows to match your needs. If you want to learn more, you can always reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.